Hey guys, how you doing? So, it's that time of year again. It's September 25th, 2020, and Halloween season is fast approaching us. So, only one thing we can do, do some haunted attractions, which the red ambient light in front of me is very appropriate for right now. Um, so tonight, we're going somewhere special. Um, I'll tell you when we get there. But, um, so with the pandemic and everything going on, it's, I was wondering if this year was going to be a year that, you know, we would be able to enjoy some of these haunted attractions, um, you know, around the country. And I was, honestly, I didn't think it was going to happen with a lot of places, a lot of like amusement parks and stuff kind of either canceling or modifying their haunted attractions for the 2020 season. Um, I honestly didn't think that I would really get to enjoy anything this year. Um, and where I am currently living is in Southeast Pennsylvania. So I was just trying to figure out, okay, what is going to be open this year and what's not going to be open? Well, fortunately for me, and for you, we get to go to Bates Motel and Haunted Hayride this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for tonight. It's going to be different. I can tell you that. It's going to be different. Like a lot of places that are opening in a pandemic year, there are going to be um, certain restrictions and there are going to be certain rules that are going to be followed. Um, if you're coming to Bates this year, just know that there's going to be time slots. Um, it's very encouraged that you place your orders in advance, um, get your tickets in advance, and that also you follow the CDC guidelines, social distancing, um, you know, wearing face masks and all that, making sure that, you know, we're following those rules. Um, so a couple things to know. This is the first night, uh, September 25th, for the, uh, Bates this season. Um, apologize for how dark it is right now. But anyway, um, one of the big changes this year I found out that the Haunted Hayride is not actually going to be a hayride this year. But instead you'll be able to, for the first time, I think since I've known this, attra this um, attraction, that you're going to be actually be able to walk the trails. Um, for me, I was, I'm a former employee there so I know the trails um you know in and out well not in and out right now but I know the trails um so for me it's going to be interesting as a guest going through and seeing everything you know all the scare actors doing their thing um not on a hayride which is going to be interesting but then the other attractions should be the same um the other is going to be one attraction, um, they have three attractions. So there's the hayride, there is the um, corn maze, the haunted trail, and then there's also the um, famous Bates Motel uh, haunted house. Bates Motel haunted house is the best one, I think, in all of them. Um, but all three attractions are fun in their own rights. So again, we're going to go. We have a reservation for or advanced uh, ticket for 7:30 tonight. So I am on my way there now. We're actually getting pretty close to there. So um, I'll go find a parking spot and then we'll go out and we'll see what it's like. I mean, again, this is going to be an interesting, um, you know, season just to see how they're going to be doing things, um, how they're going to be social distancing, how they're, they're going to handle an attraction like this, you know, in this kind of year. All right, let's go. All right, so we're doing this. Like I said, this year... The hayride is not going to be a hayride as far as I understand. It's just going to be a walkthrough attraction, so it's going to be very, very interesting.
different this year. Between uh, scenes right now, it's really dark out, but it's definitely different. This is definitely different. It's a little dark to see me right now. I'm walking between, just got done the Psycho Trail, um, which used to be the Hayride this year. There I am. You'll get some ambient lighting me later on. Um, first thoughts, it's good. You know, it's definitely different. You know, it's a, little sh it's a shame that there's no Hayride this year, but I still enjoyed it. I still had a lot of fun. So basically, a little more information on how this works tonight. There we go, a little more light. And how this works tonight is basically you just go from one attraction to the other. That's how that's how it works. Go from the hair ride to the corn maze and then the house, and then you eat and do all your shopping afterwards.
Hey guys, so got done Bates Motel, back in my car, um, had a fun time, had a really, really fun time, different this year, um, yes, but it's to be expected, you know, with the year we're having this pandemic year, um, but again, they were doing their thing, they did what they needed to do for social distancing and all that, um, not so much some of the guests, not everyone. Most people were, were were keeping their distance, but there were a few people that um, really weren't keeping their distance, and they were just kind of not respecting the guidelines that were, um, you know, put forth by everything. So, but other than that, film night, um, it was definitely, I said, it was interesting um, to see everything, especially the hayride, to go from a, you know, hayride to a walkthrough attraction. But it was neat to see it, um, and then, you know, the corn maze and then the haunted house were all fun as well. Um, I will have to say, be prepared um, for when you go this year, um, that there is a lot of walking involved, because basically, 
past years, what you would be able to do is you'd be able to go through, um, to pick and choose which attraction you go to. You, you buy your tickets, uh, and then you can just say, oh, I want to go on the Hayride, then I'll go on the um, Haunted House, and then I'll do the Corn Maze last, or however you do it. Um, this year, it's structured, where um, as soon as you get in, they take your temperature, you do a temperature check, and you get screened. Then you go to the Haunted Hay or the I keep saying the Haunted Hayride, but it's not the Haunted Hayride this year. Um, the Psycho Trail, I believe it's called. Um, Psychopath. Um, so you go through there, and then immediately from there, you walk from that to the Corn Maze, and then from the Corn Maze on to the Haunted House. Um, and speaking of the Haunted House, uh, speaking of the Haunted House, I did not have the chance to really film anything inside. It's hard enough to film on a good year, um, especially being in a cramped space like that. There's a lot of dark areas, a lot of dark corridors, and as you can see with tonight, when I was doing all the other stuff outside, there was a lot of darkness. Um, you can't really see with the phone. Um, I didn't have my good camera with me tonight, so I had to use everything on my phone tonight. But overall, it was fun. Um, and again, it's, it's very structured. So again, be prepared to do a lot of walking and not a lot of breaks. Um, your experience and the time it takes you to go through all three attractions will depend on your pace and the pace of others uh, in front of you. Um, so just be, again, be aware of that. Um, very limited uh, menu. Uh, again, this is the first night, um, so I expect that maybe as time goes on, maybe th more things will be available. Um, but as of tonight, um, it wasn't that bad. Um, again, they had basic food options and they had donuts and stuff there. Um, I also did notice, um, from what looked like to me, the shop, uh, they usually have a gift shop, it looked like it was closed. Um, I didn't even try to go inside or even ask about it because I didn't see anyone going in and out of the gift shop. So I assumed that the gift shop is closed. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, please tell me if you go there and the gift shop's open and maybe they'll open it later on in the year. But um, as of right now, the gift shop looked like it was closed to me, which is understandable. Um, so there is that. But again, you're, you don't get your, you don't get to go get food or drinks until after you do all three attractions. So again, I keep saying that, be aware that um, once you get scanned and once you go through the temperature checks, you will not be able to do any kind of like um, food or drinks um, until after you've done all three attractions. Um, so just, again, be aware of that. But overall, it was very fun. Um, I did enjoy it. I, I, I had a great time. Um, and I hope that, um, you know, maybe to do it later on this year. I don't know. Um, it all depends on how things are. And tonight being the first night, wasn't really that crowded when I got there, um, but as I left, the lines were definitely longer um, for the beginning attractions uh, for the Psychopath. Um, it was longer, but it still wasn't bad. Um, just know that as the season goes on, I do expect it to get busier. Now do I expect it to be as busy as it was in past years? Not sure, um, but I do expect it to still be somewhat busy um, and get busier as it gets closer to Halloween, um, as it usually does every year, so that doesn't really change. Um, but yeah, it, it was really fun. Different again, different, but it, I, I did enjoy it. Um, I enjoy going every year as long as I can. Um, so I, I, I encourage you guys to really go. Um, again, it's an, if you're in the Southeast PA area, um, in Glen Mills, check them out. They're a great attraction. There are other haunted attractions around as well, but I do recommend going to Bates Motel at least once if you're in the area. Um, it's, it's really fun and it's really, you know, they, they do a good job every year as far as like sets and the scare actors and everything like that. Um, also do note that the scare actors do not have makeup on this year. Some of them have like full on masks, um, but for the most part they just have like the regular face masks on. Um, but there will be no like makeup done at all this year, again, as of now. 
Um, again, things can change um, as with anything right now. So, but um, if you're worried about your little ones, just know that there's no scary makeup at least. But the sets are still intense as they are as they usually are. So, you know, just use your judgment as far as like if you want to bring kids with you. Um, so. Again, I'm glad you guys got to um, come with me tonight. It was very fun, and I hope to do it again later on. Have a great night, and I'll see you later.